Vinay Chada, welcome to DBL. Thank you so much for having me. Pleasure to be here. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. But bro, I got to start this out with, did you not realize that you were going to be on TV? What were you thinking? Nadia was my girl. Y'all bonded over condiments. Who doesn't like ketchup? Only the two of you. You were meant to be. That's all I have to say. I have to say it on behalf of the Twitter sphere. I have to say it on behalf of everybody who loves and has binge watched this show. So now that I've said that, are we okay now? We're good, we're good, we'll always okay. be good. Okay, <laughs> all right, so let's get into it because things between you and Nadia seem to really heat up at first until it mm -hmm. all went south. So what is the real truth? Who really ghosted whom? I mean, all I'll say is I never have and never will ever ghost anyone. Okay. What happened was that we dated for about two months and like any other relationship, there's a lot of ups and downs. It was very real to me. And the truth of the matter is that we, um, we were supposed to meet out one night at a wedding after a wedding, which was not actually shown. I ended up not making it out because of a family emergency. And I had told her that, and like I could see that she lacked confidence in me from that. A couple weeks later, now we're a little bit on the rocky roads. We're supposed to go see the movies. I didn't want to wait till the last minute to bail on her because that morning I woke up and I felt deathly sick. I got an IV, felt better, tried to hang out with her later in that day. And for whatever reason, she didn't want to hang out with me. I sent her another text saying how much I really do love and care about her and I never heard back from her ever again after that. Okay, so you're saying, and this happens, that you were kind of the victim of poor editing. There is some truth to everything, but I guess there's a lot of truth to reality TV edits as well. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, we know, we know. I just wanted to have you or give you a chance to clear the air because honestly, yeah, of course. I have really enjoyed um, watching this and it's something that I feel like so many people can relate to. So the idea that you might be in a situation where you're seeing someone and mm -hmm. then there's a miscommunication and then all of a sudden you're getting a text like, I'm in an argument with my sister or something and we're, we're just automatically like, that's not yeah. true, what is he doing? So, okay, I get it. And you're right. I get it, that's you're not right. the whole story. <laughs> well, I appreciate you being forthcoming with that. Here we are. So. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that there would have been a future if the timing was a little better? And how about now? Because we're kind of still hoping that there's a chance. Um, I honestly think if the timing was better at a different time, a different place, like that connection that you saw us have on our first date, that was a real connection. I think as of now, I think my trust has been broken a lot, so it would take a lot for me to, for that to be repaired. So I'll never say never, but it, it would take a lot for me to, to, to get that trust back. Well, the fans are, are still rooting for y'all. I'm, I'm just gonna put that out there because- I'm I rooting read, for us too. Yes, <laughs> I read the backstory and it turns out that Nadia and the homeboy from Chicago didn't work out and I am here <laughs> for this reunion. So <laughs> <laughs> in all fairness, this was your first time on a reality show and we can understand yeah. that being a very weird thing. And it was also your first time with the matchmaker. So what was the hardest part? I am, the hardest part was definitely how it all unfolded on screen. Like, it was bittersweet because it was a real relationship for me and everything about our two months together was very real, but to see how I was portrayed and viewed, especially amongst the female audience who I, I advocate for on a daily basis, I've seen women treated badly and that's something that I don't stand for. Well, I appreciate you saying that. Vinay Chada, I really appreciate you chatting with us today on DBL and playing along with me because I had some questions and I am so glad that we got to the bottom of it today. <laughs> I'm glad too, I'm happy to answer anything.